All right, guys. So I am one of the Trinidadians <laughs> that would burn sugar with a touch of oil. All right. So as them oil get really, really, really hot, so that's why you see. Ooh, that's why you see now. Um, you know all the little thingies around. So yeah, I'm going to cook it today. Make sure everybody is going down getting a nice touch of the caramelization here. Alright, so you see when you have your boiling water on standby, it makes the process easier to continue. Rather than you have to pour in cold water and slow down and back up the cooking process. So now that that's in there, I'm going to just flavor up a bit and allow it to cook probably for about, um, okay, I'll check the time and get back to you. All right, it's now 8.39, so we'll check the cooking time, yeah? All right. Hi, guys. So, this is for the peas. It's my pressure cooker. And as you can see here, I have some chopped garlic, onion, and a piece of butter. I'm a butter baby. A butter girl. So, let's just the first that in there. Uh, normally when people are doing um peas, I'm doing pinto beans. When people are doing peas, they normally like slice garlic or crack it and put it in some oil and let it burn and then they'll throw in the peas. I like to do mine this way. So I'll let this fry up. Alright, and uh, I normally cover it, let it, I'll be back. Alright, so you see how nice and golden brown that got? So this is my pinto beans. Um, normally, you know, you boil your water and you pick your peas or your beans and you put it in the hot water and you put some baking powder for it to soften a bit. Right, so I normally do that and then I freeze the excess if I'm not using all at one time. So this is the frozen um, remainder because I prepared it about two or three Sundays ago. So it's just a salt that in there. Give it a stir. And then you cover it for like about five minutes. And after that, you pour in your boiling water, which I have on standby again. Yes. All right, guys. So the next few steps are pretty much simple. Then I get the boiling water. Pour it in here. And again, boiling water so we can continue the cooking process rather than slowing it down. And uh, normally, I add a pack of coconut milk one time. Yes, a whole pack. Other than that, I'll use um, other than that, I'll use fresh coconut milk, which I'm not today, and a pack of veggie soup. Stir it around. Yes, baby. I'll put it on for just now. Right, stir that around. Put on the pressure cooker cover. Put on the weight, and you allow that, <laughs> and you allow that to cook for half an hour. Yeah, and uh, well, after the half an hour, when it uncover your pot. I normally add some freshly chopped seasoning and call that pinto beans. And these are my babies for my veggie rice or fried rice. Ginger, garlic, pimento, sweet peppers, um, celery, parsley and carrot. Yep. Alright, so you all remember that we were supposed to check the time that the turkey was going to cook for. It is 9 to the 8, which is more or less an hour. And if you look, normally you know the turkey cook because you'll see pieces break, um, broken up. Or you can just like try to cut it with a spoon and it will go through easily. Or you can take off piece and taste it. Alright, but this is cooked. And uh, for my finishing touch, I'm, I normally make tomato choker and keep it in the fridge. Um, yeah, to use as a thickener instead of using ketchup. And chopped pimento. So I'm going to add that in there. Hopefully it all came out. Yes. Give it a stir. Let it cook for like about a little two, three minutes again, and then I'll turn off the pot. And there goes the stew turkey. <laughs> Alright, so I hope it was really easy for you all. Yeah. That's the please there. Oh, so right. So from the point of this noise here, and any pressure cooker for the peas, I normally check like a half an hour. Alright? Before I turn off the pressure cooker. So yeah, that's it for the turkey. Let it cook for a little, not cook, it's already cooked, so let it just bubble a little bit for like a two minutes again and switch it off. Alright, so this is the pinto beans. It was pressurized for half an hour and uh, here we go. So I'm just going to add the finishing touch which is chopped celery and pimentos and 
The sauce is good, so I'm not going to let it boil any longer. I'm going to switch off the stove. And uh, yeah, the amount of heat will soften the um, pimentos and the celery and all flavors will be soaked in and tasting so good to eat. So, <laughs> all right, cooking with crystal. Enjoy. All right, so I'm almost ready for the fried rice. Here I have garlic, ginger, and pimentos chopped. Over here, sweet peppers, the celery, and the parsley, and over here, the carrots. So, I'm gonna get this ready. So, here I have some sesame oil that is really, really, really heated. Let me see if I can work a magic here. Here, yeah, this could work because I really don't want to get burned, and I want to show you all. So, I got it there and cover it. Okay, good. <laughs> So after this, I'm going to add the carrots, let that cook for a little while, and then I'm going to add the chopped sweet peppers and um, parsley and celery. I'll be back. Alright, so I've added the rice and also some seasoned salt. You can add regular salt if you like, or no salt at all if you don't want to add any salt. It's up to you. And yeah, almost done. See how good that looks? Yes. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn this off in a while. I have potato salad to do still. Alright, so I'm gonna start the cooked up um garbage and pie. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think I need an assistant. <laughs> Alright, so Miss oil and butter here with garlic and <laughs> onion. Alright, so let us fry up a bit. Alright, just to the phone and salad. Right, and I'm gonna add in the I cut them up smaller because it's from yesterday with the um provision and smoking. So you see, you don't let your stuff taste. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to cover that and let it like, fry up and get a little golden brown. And then I'm going to add some seasoned salt. No, let me add that now. Add a bit of seasoned salt. And just a touch of regular salt because my seasoned salt doesn't have much salt in it. Right. And uh, toss it up. Ugh. Trying to videotape and toast. Alright, so I'm gonna let this fry up and then I'll get back to you. I'll just add a little, a little bit of um, milk to add and cheese and let it really, really, really fry up. So I'll be back. Stay tuned. Alright, okay, so as you can see, you see how nice and brown those that? Oh god, this one here a little bit, but that's just really darker, the better, right? So I'm just gonna add a bit of milk and throw in the cheese. Simply allow that to just cook some more. Well, it's not yet cooked because the provision is cooked. <laughs> but you know, allow the cheese to melt, allow the provision to absorb the milk and the cheese flavor. And the cheese is just going to melt all over it and let it simmer completely down because I don't want any liquid. So, this is going to be so good. Oh my god, I'm feeling to put some more cheese, but no, 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 no. See you see that. Alright, so I'll be back. Alright, so this is the first time I'm making soft up provision pie. So all you're going to follow my craziness that I'm doing because this is going to be so good. You'll see it's not moving at all. The sauce is moving, but it's not moving. So when this is done, it's going to stick to the bottom of the pan. It's a non-stick pan. <laughs> It'll stick to the bottom of the non-stick pan, right? Cooking with crystal. <laughs> right? So... This is going to be so brown and crispy at the bottom and well you see the provision i i fried them up crispy as well so this is going to be so freaking good all right so this smells just about ready it's smelling like the cheese is really cooked it smells like the cheese is about golden brown right now <laughs> if you get a look at the crust you're going to see there so yeah i'm going to turn this off and when i dish it out you're going to see how it looks 
So, as you all know, I was going to prepare veggie rice, provision pie, stuffed up provision pie. If you all taste this, potato salad, pinto beans, plantain, and stewed turkey. Alright, so I hope you all enjoy. Happy Sunday, Cooking with Crystal.